On a daily basis, people tend to have their own purpose why they wake up in the morning, such as going to school and work by the means of commuting. This has been part of their daily routine, yet it wouldn't be made possible without certain locations to go to. By the use of maps, signage, or even directions, it helps us by being guided and destined to our chosen location. This train is up to Recto Station. Ang susunod na istasyon ay Araneta Center, Cubao. Ang tren na ito ay hanggang sa Recto. about choosing the best path with a starting point and a vertex with the smallest width. The concept is to go from one vertex to another that you haven't been visited yet. The process would continue until you have visited all the vertex up until the starting vertex without passing through the same vertex twice. Here is an example for greedy algorithm. So let's say you are deciding to enter either a left or right lane but you want to determine which way to take. Consider this as a map. This would help you to determine which way is more convenient in terms of taking the simplest path. Let's try to enter the left lane starting from vertex A up until vertex B which has a unit of 30, 75, 80, and 10 with a total of 195. While on the right lane, let's start again from vertex A up until vertex B that has a unit of 50, 25, 30, and 10, with a total of 95. Based on the results of each lane, I would prefer to take the right lane than the left one since it resulted with the smallest weight. That's how greedy algorithm works. Now, let's head on to the next lesson. The person behind Euler Path and Euler Circuit is Leonard Euler a Swiss mathematician, physicist, and engineer. He made important and influential discoveries in many branches of mathematics. A Euler path is a path that uses every edge in a graph with no repeats. Being a path, it does not have to return to the starting vertex. Looking at our first graph here, we can form a Euler path. I'll use arrows to show the path, but we could also use numbers on the edges. So, for example, if we start from vertex A, we go from A to B, B to D, D to C, C to B, and B to E. It's a Euler path because we used every edge exactly one time with no repeats. Now for our second example, if we start from vertex A, we could go from A to B, B to C, C to A, A to D, then D to C. Again, we used every edge exactly one time with no repeats. Here, we see that vertex A, B, D, and E has 2 degree, while vertex C and F have 3. We can see that it contains two vertices of odd degree, and we can say that the graph does have a Euler path. And now, let's find one. So, we want to start at the vertex and form a path that uses every edge exactly once. Let's start at vertex C, going to D, from D to E, from E to F, from F back to C, and then from C to B, B to A, and A to F. We used every edge exactly once. Now we can say that the Euler path is C, D, E, F, C, B, A, and F. Now let us sample what an Euler circuit is. If there exists a circuit in a connected graph that contains all the edges of the graph, or if there exists a walk in the connected graph that starts and ends at the same vertex and visits every edge of the graph exactly once, then that circuit or walk is called Euler circuit. In short, Euler circuit is a circuit that uses every edge in a graph with no repeats. Furthermore, it must start and end at the same vertex. In order for us to understand what an Euler circuit is, let us apply it in real-life examples. 
Our first problem deals with delivering the mail. Imagine a postman needs to deliver the mails to addresses on six different streets. Supposedly, this graph is his map marking each intersection with a letter. To make the best use of his time, he needs to cross each road just once. Do you think he can do so? Looking at this graph, we can say that yes, it is possible to cross each road just once. By doing the pattern of walk from intersection A, walk to B, then C, then D, F, and going back to B, walk to E, then D, and back to A. Doing this, he will have walked each road just once and ended up where he began. So we can say that the postman walked a Euler circuit. Now let us imagine a traveling salesman. He has four roads to reach. Similar to the postman, he wants to make best use of his time and travel each road just once. Using this graph, which serves as the salesman's map, do you think he can go through all the four roads, ending up where he started? The answer is no. If he begins at point B, going to point C, then D, B, and A, he will end up in point D. He will have visited the four roads, but he ended up at a different spot, so we can conclude that he didn't travel a Euler circuit, but rather a Euler path. Arriving at Station. Arriving next station, station.